This is the appointed place. We were 70,000, but I do not know how many will come. I understand. So what will you do now, Spartacus? Continue to fight with whoever remains and whoever wants to be by my side. Yeah. Yeah. You have followed me all this way. I know that you see we are missing many of the men who fought alongside us in the beginning. Do not lose heart and hold no bitterness against them. For I hold none. We have fought as brothers, and with their help we have torn down the parapets that the Romans would have trapped us with. But we are here now because the gods command that we answer the invitation of our enemy. Rome invites us to battle, and we will not turn our backs on that invitation. He calls us to battle so he can slaughter us, but instead we shall arise and attack him and his army. We shall not lie down like dogs, but instead we shall attack Rome. We shall force them from our path. We will go forward until not a one of them stands in our way. Let's go. Our march continues. Onward to freedom! They have broken down our lines at Sicily. They have gone back to the coast and entered the forests. They have crossed through the forest and the mountains, and now they are here, in close proximity to the city of Acropolis. Hmm. Originally, it looked like we had preceded them. Now it appears that we have surpassed them. But we only have two days of gear left. We can take the time to resupply, but we will lose position on them. Or we can try to move quickly before our supplies are gone. We can decide that on the day of battle. Tell me, General. What's the total number of troops that are left with Spartacus? From what my scouts have reported, maybe 20,000, sir. At first, there was an army of 70,000. What's become of the rest of them? I believe they have dispersed, Caesar. Our scouts say that most of the ones that had families have gone somewhere safe. They have abandoned Spartacus. For the farmers, it seems that their family's well-being in terms of food and shelter is more important than their lofty ideals. And we will beat him once and for all. Rome will have its triumph. And I will no doubt have songs written about my exploits. You deserve to have your own triumph, my great conquering general. Very soon we will be near the walls of the city. I will feel better once you're inside. Spartacus, do you think there's a chance they will take us? If they don't have respect for our money, then I assure you they will at least fear our souls.
Day, which one of you might be the commander? I am the commander. You have fought the Romans many times, but we hope you will not ravage our city. You have nothing to fear. Commander, we have prepared three carts of wheat and 50 sheep for you. That's all we can spare, but you're welcome to it. We ask that you don't enter our city. Are you trying to offend me? Why will you not let us into your gates? The Romans have sent their men into our city. If we let you in, then surely our city will be destroyed. We don't want that. We can take care of the Romans. You have nothing to fear from them. You should at least take into consideration what I'm telling you. Would that be so much to ask? I don't need your opinion. Uh, I have hmm. to say, I agree with this man, Spartacus. It serves no purpose if more people die. Don't worry, men. We will not enter your city. I will not have your homes destroyed for my men. I understand. We will leave you in peace. There rides a commander who's really feeling the stress of battle. Have you had this before? seen this place before. It was in my dream. I know. You had told me. I remember when you said it. Even Vitellio told me about it. Come. Virginia? Yes, I did see that.
<laughs> Tomorrow my sword is going to sing in battle. Tomorrow my sword will sing also. Hopefully it's not time for me to see the banks of the Addy. I can't see the banks of Addy because I don't know where Addy is. But if Mars helps me, I will go to Rome where my brother lives in the slum because he's poor. It's not done cooking. If I'm going to die tomorrow, I want my stomach full today. Mario, the Roman that can send you to the gods has not been born yet. Huh? When we finally break through the rampart, I have told my father to take my lady and horse and go home. I have also done the same with my lady and the baby. I mean, it's not like they could help us fight. For us, there may be no future, but they can perhaps live a long life. Everyone is born with their own star. There is a star for living and a star for dying. Mine is the star of death. Perhaps mine is too. There is something that I must ask of you, men. Hmm. Hmm. This time, Spartacus, I am not going to obey you. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to obey you either. You must obey me. I cannot fight. I cannot even attempt to win if I don't know that Genia and my son are out of harm's way. I can certainly understand what Spartacus is saying. Because of this, I ask that you obey me. My son, I'll miss you. Anyone with eyes can see how much he truly loves his family.
Go now. <laughs> None of the rebels should get away. Those who die on the field have died a glorious death. But those who have escaped death will be among the dishonorable because those who offend Rome deserve to die with their face in the dirt. Commander, look over there, on the hill. Uh, where? Look, you can just make them out over there. There must be ten of them fleeing. Let's go after them! Fight to our very last breath. Huh? <sighs> this is the son of Spartacus. <sighs> <sighs> 